Yeah, good morning. Um, we're in Southall today, this morning, on a Sunday morning. Nice and chilly outside. And we've come to visit Brother Kay, one of the residents in Southall. Good morning, Brother Kay. How you doing? You alright? Very well, brother. What seems to be the issues in your mother's house in Southall? Right, so yeah, this is my mother's property. Uh, the problem we are having is uh, water leaking from the upstairs property uh, into my mother's property. So, um, so this is a masonette? This is a masonette. Okay. Uh, so, so you've got so somebody living above? There's, there's above a ma that's correct, this is a masonette, so it's a two floor masonette, it's a house, and then on top of us is a one bedroom flat. Right, and that's where the leakages are coming from? The leakage is coming from the one bedroom flat, that's correct. Right, so you told me earlier that your parents purchased this property from Ealing Council? That's correct, my per parents purchased this property in 1981 from Ealing Council, so my, purchase, uh, my parents are the leaseholders. And the property above? It's owned by Ealing Council. And have you contacted Ealing Council? Many a times. Uh, I've been dealing with Ealing Council uh, for the last uh, three to four years and with regards to this property. Sure. And what sort of response have you got from Ealing Council? Um, Lackluster response. Uh, a lot of the times they're not bothered. Um, it's as if they keep flogging me off. Um, they don't want to deal with the problem. They don't want to sort the problem out. Uh, however, they're happy to pay contractors to come, uh, come have a look at my property, have a look at the property above. Uh, yet nothing's done. So, Kay, why do you think that the council are being negligent to yourselves or to your parents? Well, it's a question I ask myself. Uh, I mean, my parents have worked hard in this country, paid their taxes, paid the service charge. Um, um, you know, they struggle to pay the mortgage for this property. Um, law abiding citizens, yet we've been treated as criminals. We're treating as second class citizens. Um, well, normally what would happen is if the water is coming from upstairs, which it clearly is, we've got pictures and evidence to show that, then if you now spend money rectifying the problems that your parents are suffering with, but then the water will come back next week from upstairs. So the council should really fix the upstairs flat Correct. or change the occupant. If you think that the resident living upstairs cannot look after himself or his own welfare and your parents are suffering because of this, then Ealing Council should be taking action and it doesn't take four years. No, correct, Joe. They, they, they've got to do both things. A, they've got to fix the property upstairs. Uh, they've got to fix the warp roof flooring uh, on the balcony above uh, above this bedroom and um, they need uh, to help uh, the tenant upstairs, either get them a new property uh, or get them physical help. Well, we'll make sure that this goes to the leader of Ealing Council, Peter Mason, and we will follow this up with you after a few months to see how you're getting on because um, this is this is not right it's unjust well i thank you for your time and i really do hope peter mason uh, this will open his eyes um and hopefully hopefully um shed a light on uh the the problems that the people of southall uh, some of the problems that the people of southall are uh, facing and you pay service charges for this we do pay service charge for this on a monthly basis we pay good money for it shameful isn't it absolutely shameful. not on not on Thank you, Kate. Okay. Oh, thank you for your time. You're welcome.